they're more willing to be active than the young people in some ways. Because myself, I do it for my children and my grandchildren. And, um, and I was, my father was a union activist. And he was a union man. You know, I go way back on that. Whereas young people today, they know nothing about demonstrating for their rights. No, we, the, the whole point of this movement is, is, is to have everybody step up and be concerned for the future of this country because it's what the real debate's about. You know, deciding what kind of world we're going to live in. Can, can, can we look at what um, the young people have done in the Occupy movements? They have been quite yes. innovative uh, compared to what we would do. In, well, I'm actually, when I say that people, I'm thinking of the people like my children who are 40 and 50. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah, exactly. Uh, yes. I mean, the younger people. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> Not you guys, the people younger than me and older than you. Right. <laughs> Nobody here. <laughs> and the other group that might be a good group to think of also is the AIM that's the elderly and disabled, and they're very proactive in the things in the area. Well, well, yeah, well, there's, a, yeah, there's, a, there's a couple of things that I'm gonna, I'd like to throw out. Okay. And then you need to decide you know, whether they're good ideas, and then you need to decide you know, how you want to implement them. <clears throat> One is, is if you're gonna have events, down the road from plan actions, okay. And I think this was where Darren was headed. <clears throat> if you're going to have people interact with the media and, 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 and you want to communicate a message, I don't know why he's be pointing at you. Is that a spokesperson? I've been delegated. Then <laughs> we do it by consensus, right? <laughs> Then, then it is a, a wise idea to, to be able to distill you into a, some key talking points that you really want to communicate because it's going to be on you know, TV or radio, or in the press, okay? So, you, you, you know, because they're not, you know, granted most of us could talk for hours on some of these issues, you're not going to get that time. So if you, there's something to think about working on it, on how you're actually going to interact with the media. <clears throat> the one thing I would like to resolve tonight, though, is the communication issue. They have one dedicated method of communicating so that as we grow, that we're all on the same page, we all show up at the same place for a general assembly. We could get an Occupy signal, like the bat signal. That's right. <laughs> yeah. They had one of those in New York, right? The Occupy. That's right. They had a video, the video projection out there. It was, yeah. like, was like misty eyed in my. Well, I know for myself, Facebook has been really useful in knowing what's going on because I don't exactly live in the Corning area. I live in northern Pennsylvania, so I'm 45 minutes out of the way and not as young as some of these people, but not in the loop with some of the other people either. So, so being on the internet has helped me a lot, and I think it's helped people all over the world if we look at the Arab Spring and other people you know, that are raising up for their rights. I think it would be really great if we really did have a website that was just for us and where we can communicate and educate each other. Yeah, we've talked about it. I just haven't seen it. So far, um, we are working on three main ways of distributing information. An official Facebook page, which we have. Right. Uh, the uh, listserv, which I discussed earlier. And a, a static web page. The web page is still being worked out. Uh, awesome. We have some people that are uh, Andy, Jackie, yeah, no, and, and, and my counter sanity. Yeah, right. I thought that's so. Uh, the foundation of it. Yeah, that's her. Yeah. Uh, uh, we're working. At, we're, we're still working on that. Uh, basically, we haven't uh, officially announced it because it's not ready yet. Okay. But yeah. the idea would be that that would also be a place to, to post information, and also especially static information like like this, for example. Right. Awesome. Um, and, and of course, so the important thing would be to make sure that all three 
outlets are in sync with each other to make sure everybody's saying the same thing and there's not confusion. Because when we had the uh, rally, uh, just after the rally, there were basically four or five different Facebook pages about the Occupy Corning area. And we were able to kind of consolidate them into a group and a page. Facebook page. Are you want to know? Sorry. Um, and just about anybody could, in lieu of like a real professional website, could just set up a blog spot or a WordPress and, and that could be done in 10 minutes. Just a fight with the future could be posted on there without having to do something that does web design. Yeah, it's, it's also important to make sure that there's like a steady webmaster or someone who, or a few people who have like a trusted uh, administration status or password because I've noticed that, again, in Occupy Buffalo there has been the conflict with that. Uh, the people who, some people who had originally signed up for that they had to bow out early and then administration rights were lost and it's just important to have someone who's going to like make at least, I would guess maybe a general three to six month commitment if it's possible. Um, and just out of you know, a good suggestion. I actually think we could learn a lot from yeah. the Occupy Buffalo movement. It seems right. like you guys are really successful. And I don't know, I personally would like to go out there and meet with you guys and learn from you guys. Yeah. And maybe we could all caravan out there sometime. Oh, definitely. Oh, oh something else, too, is um, there is a... I would say like a statewide symposium or something resembling that happening in Niagara Falls, the Rainbow Bridge on the first. Right, yeah, and uh, I mean that's one way if anyone wanted to organize a trip up there this weekend, um, it's a possibility. I think Albert Brown has already uh, posted a, uh, a link to a video there on Occupy Elmira Corning, or if it's not there, it's on the Occupy um, Ithaca, so, right. Exactly, yeah, so. Yeah, I think that, um there's an opportunity and when we need to uh people you know i remember after the first rally there was eight different events and in four pages and you know 19 you know um and and with a, a, a static I, I like that usage excellent usage sir um with a static website with the facebook and with the listserv um in theory, people would be more hesitant to just throw information out there because yeah. they would, in consideration of these other two, well, you know, I, like I uh, started the page group, I don't know the difference. Anyway, I started one of them and um, almost immediately I was able to make four other administrators so I didn't have to, you know, I didn't have to check the page every 10 minutes tonight, you know, for, you know, people who want to be a part of it or whatever. Um, and I think that, um, when you have, you know, because there's occupations and then there's occupations. And in New York City, there's occupation. And in Elmira, Corning, um, there's not occupation in that sense. And mm. so when you have these people who are dedicating the, the living a life, the, the breathing and the sleeping and the eating to the Occupy, um, and then you have areas, most of us work, we're, we're college students. Um, those of us who do have, you know, uh, a, a lot more time. I, I literally actually work seven days a week. Um, and so for those of us here, um, we would take some, not exactly subordinate, because what we talk about is lateral, but, um, um, you know, we would take some sort of role, but at some point it would be more natural for, um, you know, uh, you know, delegations and, and subcommittees and things like that to take place. So, you know, just because I'm, I'm in ponderance of, of what Steve was saying with, you know, we have to decide what, you know, not we have to, but, you know, you know, let's, you know, we could decide what it is we're trying to accomplish and stuff. Um, and I just, what the, the, the recurring theme of, of an Occupy Elmira recording in upstate Pennsylvania. <laughs> Thank um, you. Twin tears. <laughs> Um, would be information dissemination. You know, if we can change a single conversation on any given day, you know, let us keep in mind that, um, you know, I got, I got um, encouragement from, you know, uh, you know, because like I was like the only guy in Elmira holding a sign, and you know, I got encouragement from, you know, a very close friend of mine saying, just, you know, keep doing what you're doing. If people stop talking about the playoffs, um, this is 
a success, you know, because in theory people would go back, they would find some um, less disgusting news outlets and, um, uh, you know, to try to, to say, well, where do I fit into this scheme of things? You know, they're saying 99%, am I a part of that? You know, so if there becomes personal struggle, you know, and I've seen, you know, people that might not necessarily, you know, might have their jobs, have their kids, have their, you know, whatever their lives have, have you know, slipped out of that stream of, of, of uh, you know, I, I don't know, sort of, you know, narrow-minded, you know, personal goals and, and said, you know, there is something going on. And, and I just think that that is, you know, on, on a level where, like, I, I'm not, I'm going to go occupy my king-size bed tonight, you know. So um, in the spirit of that, if we're not going to go occupy somewhere, then that would be, at the be-all and end-all would be information dissemination, you know, altering uh, the course of, of conversations to get people, um, you know, and people are becoming aware. It took a couple of months. Um, and it took uh, some poor kids in California getting pepper sprayed and um, a white shirt of NYPD indiscriminately, you know, uh, 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 bludgeoning uh, 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 innocent bystanders and a Marine or two um, to where, like, you know, now, you know, CNN and MSNBC and even Fox to some extent now, you know, um, you know, uh, there's no such thing as bad advertising. But, you know, I just think that... Um, you know, there's there's a sort of uh, there there is personal commitment. You know, like the the young lady was talking about. You know, there is personal commitment. You know, we go out there, we talk to our people. This is not masturbation. You know, this is the future. This is you know my kids' future too. You know, um, so. What I would what I would suggest that <coughs> is is that depending on what you identify. Did I use enough big words? Huh? Well, depending on what the group identifies. You know, what I would suggest is you actually form some working strategies. I mean, to work on either, you know, your media talking points, if you. Uh, um, yeah, my newest thing is 468 soldiers died in combat. In, in, or 462 soldiers died in combat in 2011. 468 committed suicide. Get the fuck out of here. Are you serious? That's like, that's a new number. 468 and 462. 468 of American troops committed suicide in 2010. 462 died in combat. You gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me. That's another discussion. I mean, there's a reason why that's happening. We've never, we've never, we've never, with an all-volunteer, with an all-volunteer army, Continue to put these guys in harm's way. When you send them back to the same front time after time, okay. Yeah. Uh, psychologically, they can't handle it. I think that everybody here pretty much agrees with that sentiment you know, that you said about uh, changing the conversation and that being the primary goal. I think everybody probably agrees with that. That's why they're here. Um, but maybe as a next step, we can try to figure out a way to create some type of you know, short-term measurable goal of how we can go about uh, helping to do that. Well, I see, based on what we're talking about, I see two things happening from this media, uh, possibly from this media working group. One is uh, to make sure that our communication amongst ourselves is consistent so that we have, that everybody knows what's going on and so that we can uh, not only coordinate General Assembly, but also uh, direct actions if we choose to in the future. Another thing is more along the lines of, say, well, one of the first things is distributing uh, the statement. And I think one of the first things uh, that this, in that regard would be uh, distrib distributing the statement. And uh, one of the first things that can happen with that is uh, the city council meeting has a period afterwards where, public, where the public can ask questions or present something to the city council. Uh, I see a great opportunity to just put copies of these in the hands of the mayor and the alderman. Um, okay. well, I, 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 with the potato gun. <laughs> <laughs> well, what I would suggest is what I would, I would suggest. Okay. CJ will bring the hairspray. <laughs> Bring the hairspray. I would suggest if you want to work on that. Let's talk about possible committees you may want to form. Okay. You want to form a communication committee? I think it's a great idea. You want to form an action committee that will 
will actually plan out actions. Okay. You know, it all needs to come back to the General Assembly for discussion. I spent many an hour in council chambers. You want to go down that road? I don't necessarily think that's a bad thing. Okay. The mic check them. But I'm going to say, if if, if, if you want, you need to be smart about this kind of thing. I mean, you know, I don't have a problem if you want to go present the declaration and ask for support and stuff. If it, you know, has to do with what's the, what's the most effective way to do that. Okay. I mean, if, if, if there's a difference between, for me, there's a difference between just being confrontational, okay, because that's an open comment. I mean, anybody would go say, yeah, there's a difference between being uh, confrontational and, and being as effective as you can to change, to try to implement change. So before you do that, you know, I mean, I could have a long discussion about play.